to your normal type like Jigglypuff against the ghostly gang of the battle's real tough. Thunderbolt's a great electric attack till you get ground down by a marrow What? You got money for winning. Um, one of the other things, by the way, with the Zygarde is that a lot of people didn't like his original design, uh, so they tried to heap on uh, additional designs. <laughs> so that's where you get like the cells, which I are the think little the regular Zygarde was good enough, it and wasn't... then the Doberman one, which just looks that like a Ben Ten alien. <laughs> that one's hilarious. <laughs> uh, and then the Mecha, and that it's like, oh shit. <sighs> Yo. Thank you very much for the sub. Thank you for the sub, Mango Mango. Uh, enjoy the well. Dutchman's treasure right enjoy now is the just dogs. Yeah, have enjoy your borks. Oh, I don't know if we've real we we mentioned bork, it at least once. I have an emote made for if we we get a, a slot for an extra emote, and it's gonna be um, it's a cat with a sword. It's yeah, our, I keep forgetting to put it up in the the actual like borders on this, but yes, we have another one that we're working towards. Uh, I think with the two that we got here, we have five. Uh, so I think. Um, with affiliate, if you hit 15, you get the next slot. So uh, we'll shoot for 15. I'll have it the next time we do actual streams. I'll I'll have it down. Which at the we bottom, need to I do think. more. Yeah, I agree. Uh, like we we need to finish this game especially. Uh, has it ever been explained why you get money when you win? In a, people pay you for it. They give you half the money they're carrying at the time. Which is why if you fight a child, you get uh, typically just pocket change. But if you fight an adult, you get sometimes. Uh, Tens of thousands of pokés. Poké is the the money equivalent. Yeah. So it wasn't just a stroke of luck that let you beat me last time. I understand now. We'll have to be more careful about you two. I really wish I could Out figure out what, <laughs> what voice I was doing for him. Ow! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> uh, oh look, that grunt dropped something. No, that Her wallet. <laughs> Uh, you took the card key from Jack. Yeah, no, he's not allowed to have that. This is mine. Yeah. We can't trust him. Do you think it. Jack actually beat Blue? Also, why did it take him this long? I don't know. Bingo. Card key. I think um, a big part of my personal relationship nope. with Pokemon. It's Pokes. Uh, somebody said that I thought it was Poke Yen. Nah. -uh. It's Pokes. That's, that's the official terminology yeah. for it, anyway. We study Pokeball technology on this floor. Neat. Can I have some? I think a part of my personal relationship with Pokemon is that I've always been a person who looks at things and says, I can do that. So I would be like the kid who would make just drawings of OC trainers or like my own fake mon and stuff. It's like, I think as an adult and as part of a fandom that I've been in so long, like my thing is kind of like, I don't want to say we don't need Pokemon because of course we don't, but also fuck people who will, who will say that. Uh, but like, I say like, Pokemon is more than just the games, and I, I feel like we need to, to give more love to like just the meta community. Um, for anyone who didn't know, we had oh. a few years back a Pokemon Uranium playthrough that is an RPG Maker Pokemon game done in a fourth gen style with a ton of new Pokemon. They look great. Yeah, sometimes uh, the shout artist, out to Ori Poke. yeah, uh, Ori Poke, the artist for that game, sometimes shows up in our stream and, and likes to talk to us too. Yeah, she's great. Um, yeah, she's actually amazing. Uh, there's right now. I found out from someone I like a few nights time. ago. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I found out that um, there's there's a small group of people who are doing a uh, revamp of all the sprites from Pokemon Courts, which is a famous, uh, notoriously goofy uh, like ROM hack of Ruby. Much. I feel like some of the designs in that are just goofy. So, I just said oh, oh, they're ahead. redoing all I know. the sprites. I, no, 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 I know. I'm just saying like some of the Pokemon I've, designs I didn't Oh, like I know. Much. That's part of the charm, though, is Nasty. that they're nuts. <laughs> they, they don't look like Pokemon. They look like the dude made them up on the spot. Some of them he definitely did. Uh, but th it's people going through into a fan work and trying to refine it and still keeping some of the spirit of it. I find that really cool. Yeah, I mean, that could be Yeah, I've never played Quartz in <laughs> person, though. We worked on the ultimate Pokeball. One to catch even legendary Pokemon without fail. We cool. called it the timer ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but I've never played Quartz because, like, I looked at how you're supposed to get it and it like, looked like a pain in the ass because you gotta, like, get Ruby 
emulated and then put the court stuff on top of it or something. And it's like, no, fuck that. But, like, I like the idea that someone's going to go in and try and refix everything. They're going to give some of those Pokemon real unique stats and movesets as opposed to there just being um, someone put a new sprite and a new name on top of the existing Pokedex. Uh, somebody said Pokemon Sage. Pokemon Sage is a 4chan game. Um, yes. Uh, the guy who told me about the, the new court stuff mentioned Sage and then something called Pokemon Clover, <clears throat> which is also 4chan. I think it was both of them and they, they just kind of argue with each other a lot. Yeah, like one of them was a joke game full of like memes and the other one was serious or something Flash cannon uh somebody let's see solar light and lunar dark um and then there's also oh, there's like like there was a point in time where like digimon and monster Rancher and all those were separate fandoms but i feel like now that a lot of the other monster game franchises are kind of dormant or have changed so much that like the old fans don't really care like like we've kind of merged into one uh, catchable monster trainer fandom, and yeah. like I feel like just as a community, <clears throat> there's a lot of cool stuff that comes out of that. Even some of like the the, the knockoff looking stuff off of Steam or whatever, like has heart to it, and it's good to to look into it. Um, part of what I do with my blog Pop is is I've done all the uranium Pokemon. Oh, is I've that done. Lance? Huh. What? There shouldn't be any children here. I don't know. He's wearing a suit in a cape. Yeah, who is this man? What the fuck? Oh, it's a it's juggler. a junk. Why is there a juggler here? This is my new husbando. He looks <clears throat> like an idiot. Is this okay? Is this headband? The... <laughs> floppy over emo cut and it's bright pink. Is, is, why does this man work for Silk Co? Is, is this one of those like, this job gets really stressful this moments? This is the president's court jester. <laughs> <laughs> I love We him. just have a juggler on staff, you know, because you need a juggler. <laughs> oh, uh, Death Magnus and Metabots, like, yeah, they turned into waifu oh, trash, yeah. no one bought it. There's, there's just so many things in the format where I feel like as a fandom, just the global community of people who like to just capture and control small monster gremlins. Like, like we've done so much and we have so much and we can do so much more. It's like, Pokemon, even if it crashes and burns, like, what was good is still there and we will still have it and we just need to move forward in cool ways while still being mad. Like, I will never not be mad about, like, the switch from 2D to 3D or the existence of, like, Clink. Like, I, I will continue to hold a grudge, but, like, the people on the other side who disagree with me are still part of our our community. And it's like, we can move forward and still be mad. I like the way grudges taste in my mouth, so I keep it. Okay. Uh, somebody said Uranium was an amazing fan game. Yes, it was. Sure was. Uh, it is too bad that Nintendo shut them down, because that did happen, and it was really unfortunate. Uh, they do not have 2D splash art for trainers in this game. Let's Go doesn't do that, but the 3DS games do. Uh, and I actually prefer the 2D splash art, honestly, for some of them, because it's it's oh, yeah. really nice. It's all Sugimori art. Uh, and then somebody a little higher up said, did you guys see that new uh, Gremlin Pokemon? Uh, speaking about Pokemon that, that don't look like Pokemon. I did. Did that you ever little, get a chance to see That little imp it? thing in yeah. the new demo? Um, I, imp Impidimp is its name. It doesn't really look like a Pokemon. It doesn't look like a bad design. It I feel like... It looks like a, a Dragon Quest monster. Yeah, which I kind of like. <laughs> I like that style. Um, yeah. And, like, Gligar uh, has see, bits of that and still feels like a Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I, I kind of want to just see the, the new Pokemon from other angles. Did you see the Corgi? Yeah, the, I like the Corgi. Yeah, like, that's, that's I looked the thing. at it at first and I was like, oh, it's just a Corgi. That's kind of boring. And then I looked at it, it has a lightning bolt tail. If our Pika clone for the next generation is a Corgi, I will be so happy. That is such a cute way to execute a Pika clone. Yeah. Uh, also, for those of you who have never played it, Dragon Quest Monsters is a really good game. It's basically Pokemon, but Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest, by the way, I am so happy that they never... <laughs> Dragon Quest has style integrity that I really appreciate. <laughs> the switch yeah. to 3D was smooth as hell. Yeah, it like, was nice. Toriyama's really style, no one else really apes it. They never tried to do anything else. A lot of games have become a little more smooth, and we're seeing like a lot more anime-esque sort of games. Where they, you know that CGI anime thing where everyone's really stiff and they kind of look 2D, but it's yeah. just a shader? I've, I've really 
grown to be really tired of that and makes everything yeah. look the same. Uh, the style in this game is okay. It's still very distinctly like it. Sukumori okay. based, but it feels like it's gotten its edges like shaved off way too um, far. Th this actually has an issue, and, and the juggler is a good example of it, where uh, the designs are really good. From the A angle, they were meant to be viewed at. I don't know if you noticed, but when we walked up to this guy earlier, he was walking around and it was almost an overhead angle and he looked ridiculous. His hair is just like a blob on the side of his head. Yeah. It, like, clearly you were only meant to see him from head on. Yeah. Uh, that, that is, someone's asking why I don't like the, the move to 3D models. Like, that's part of it. It's like, 3D models have a purpose and they have good qualities and bad qualities. Sprites? take a different set of skills that I really appreciate. With 3D models, yeah, they're hard to make, I'm sure. I don't know how to make them. And there's a lot of cool stuff going into them. But, like, there's certain things for, like, you, you don't get things like stretch and squish in animation. You don't get color balance changes. 2D does certain things the way they do because that's, like, thousands of years of humans learning to understand how their eyes and brains interact with each other and using yeah. it to make cheats. And sprites are kind of just a... a, a technology-based form of that, and I just really appreciate it. And the 3D models just kind of don't have the same magic to uh, me. Somebody asked, have you seen the Japanese Dragon Quest slime controller? Yes, it's ancient, huh? though. That's actually really I, old. I think I know I think what that, that thing's is. originally from the PS2, but I, I can't remember. It's like a big, chunky, just plastic slime, and then you flip it over and you open up a... a there's a little uh, compartment on its butt, and it's just a controller underneath that. I love this Porygon. <laughs> it seems Seam Rocket's planning to make Sylph create a strong Pokemon. Ah, but I don't want them to take this Porygon that I created. Oh man, you're the modeler who made the, the Porygon? <laughs> I've, gotta get out of, I've gotta get it out of here somehow. Are you giving it to us? Give me your Porygon. Jag, Jag. Jag? Yeah, because they're sure. jaggy. I like that it's a little bit jank the way it moves. It's got a little bit of a shutter at the end of its, wait, it's, its not... loop. Oh, wait a minute. We might have to find a PC and, and open up a slot. But there's no PC in this game. It's just <laughs> Oh, wait, that's in... right. We You've just... got the box in Yeah, your I'll, I'll bag. just put the box in my bag then, I guess. Yeah. Hold on. Let me uh, just... Yeah, put Tiny Chew away. She's <laughs> kind of not been super useful. Or still, just... I've been using our Dugong. Uh, you can put someone else away. more Quest Monsters, Digimon games, I'll be happy. Yeah. Honestly, uh, with both of those those series, both those franchises, I, I could be happy off of those for years. Uh, what are our names? We never we usually oh, okay. don't introduce hey, ourselves. Yeah, I'm if Megan. we're streaming, we don't usually bother. Uh, the channel's Hundera. Sometimes I go by Hundera. Uh, this is Megan, and I'm Josh. What's up? I also go by Megan Fantastic or Mega Rose or uh, uh, other things. Popkas. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, let's see, Pokemon box. Uh, Tiny Chew, you are no longer on a party. We need a little more type variation. We've been finding a lot of, like, yeah, electrodes. Yeah, Porygon's a normal type, though. Well, we're gonna just put it away. <laughs> Does anyone have a suggestion for naming a Porygon, by the way? Uh, well, if we get it. Uh, I want to take this point and I'll get rid of it somehow. No, okay, we still can't. Deft, you're wrong. It's I've never won us... waifu before. We can't take it. Oh. Yeah. So this isn't this isn't a, a takeable Pokemon. Uh, it's been suggested we name <laughs> Don't it Lopal. Look at me. But we can't get it yet. I lost to a kid with a nasty look in his eyes. My Pokemon just don't have any energy left. Oh, she lost to Jack. He creeped her out. Oh. Team Rocket's in an uproar over some intruder? That's that's you, right? <laughs> now I didn't win Waifu Wars, it was Pen and Ink Guy. I, I didn't even I didn't get any votes in first waifu war and I don't know what I got in the second. Oh Sorry guys, this is Discord nonsense. Um, I got third place in Husbando Hustle, but I voted for myself, so I don't count it. <laughs> uh, Kyle says Josh hates it when I call him by his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I do. <laughs> it's because I like any interaction we have is as Hundera. It's not as Josh. Hundera has an interesting it's just weird. history. It started as his username, and that's why it's the name on his YouTube. And then when we he changed to other things, and then when we started doing YouTube stuff, it was under the name that he had already had there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Do some people call you Space Cowboy? Uh, uh, I mean, somebody might call me Space Cowboy. Uh, I know. I really hope they don't call me Maurice, though, because that's not my name. Team Rocket's trying to conquer the world with Pokemon. 
Uh, Porygon room, don't look at me. <laughs> I have never won a Discord contest. <clears throat> As a fellow Josh, I also dislike my true name. Yeah, that's fair. There are a lot of Joshes. It's a very common yeah. name. <laughs> I, get, I don't encounter as many Megans, for our Pokemon products. but when I do uh, encounter other Megans, half the time it's spelled the wrong way and I get mad that they spell their name yeah, wrong. There's like 800 ways to spell Megan. If you've got an H in it, you're wrong. I am one of the four Rocket Sisters. Is this number three that we've called? <laughs> I'm the one who likes to eat spaghetti. This <laughs> is <laughs> <laughs> the third of the fourth, yeah. I haven't made this year's Waifu War submission yet. I know what I'm gonna do, but I haven't drawn it. Oh, she got a meow. Oh, she clearly is the best. She likes spaghetti and she has a meow. So, she's. I don't like spaghetti that much. <laughs> well, then, it's the more least, for me. It's the least interesting pasta choice. Yeah, Biblical Joshua didn't do shit. It, it is a name in the Bible, but it's, it's, uh, it's not a very good Bible name. Uh, he blew a horn once. Uh, he walked around a town. <laughs> he walked around he, town he, bro sometimes. he broke a wall. You <laughs> did that once. Yeah, I have done that once. On once accident. Twice. I think most Joshes are fated to break a wall at least once. It was an accident. <sighs> yeah. I wasn't here for it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've, I've never broken a wall. Uh, let's see. <laughs> now they're just talking about my my waifu wars. It was a contest oh. in a Discord where you just create a new character and people vote, but it's like waifu theme. Last year I submitted a clown who was also a librarian. She didn't win, but that's fine. I think maybe you were taking too many waifu characteristics and mashing them into one. It's it's like too many. Two is too, not that many. Too many chefs spoil the broth because they each want to spice it in a different way. You, you gotta, you gotta make sure that the spices interact well. What? <laughs> <laughs> you got nine hundred and twenty-four dollars. No pokeballs. Oh, that's annoying. I'd show chat the the clown librarian, but I don't think I can get her from mobile right now. Uh, okay. So there goes the one that likes uh, spaghetti. Well, let's. That rotten president. What year was this? Serves him right for transferring a star employee like me off to the boondocks. That's why Team Rocket came place. after us, I'm sure of it. The the two-headed conjoined circus girl did. <laughs> I shit my clown with the the, the the conjoined twins, but I didn't win, she won. There's a lot of circus people in your Look, waifu circus, contest. circus waifus are the best. Because you can do a lot of weird nonsense. It's like, ye yesterday I was trying to talk about mythology and I'm like, name some mythological monsters. And Megan's like, clowns? He yelled at me. I A little bit. Clowns it are not a mythological theme. monster. The only theme was it had to be a girl. <laughs> uh, Pokeball's making noise. I keep forgetting it does that. The waifu war and husbando hustles, it's literally just, there's a couple of discords who get together, um, and then it's just submit a character design that's like an adult male or an adult female, and like, maybe give it a little bio and a name, and people just vote oh, on what the best goodness. character design is. Uh, somebody oh, linked to something. Uh, oh, okay, uh, thank you for the follow, uh, a, hmm, a gen... Temerlad? Agent Temerlad. How did you follow twice? That's weird. It, it, I think it, like, <laughs> I think it may have glitched on my screen for a split second because it looked like you followed twice. Thanks for two floorboards. Uh, I can't believe I'm watching a stream at 1am. Nah, sorry. Can't believe I ate the whole thing. Uh, super cute, but her name is, is Sending Me? What was her name? Uh, the the clown's name is Bibbly Boppins. Oh. Uh, Bib like, like she works with books. <laughs> and she's a clown, so it has to be goofy. Did did she come from the biblioteca? I don't know, maybe. That's that's Spanish for library. <laughs> okay, then it works. 
Look, she's she's the librarian at your local clown college. She dislikes rodeos because she's not that kind of clown. She has like stockings are, and a skirt. What are your and a thoughts on rodeo clown? <laughs> I I don't really distinguish between types of clowns in terms of judgment. I just like clowns. They um, they all have different flavors. This is still you because I used a uh, dig. Okay. And yeah, no, I didn't win. The person who won did, it, like, uh, she does really good character designs, but it's uh, someone who did, like, a, a vampire bat. Yeah. Oh, Ninetales Commander found us from um, a Twitter tag for Bring Back National Dex. Yeah. I never tag our stream announcements when I, I come I, on Twitter. I tag the stream announcements, but only if I feel like they're actually important. It's an honor that you confused me with Nessie. I really like her character design. Yeah, because seriously, instincts. bring back national decks. I'm so angry. <laughs> I We were talking about it, and, and it seems like I've cooled off, but it's still a boiling rage beneath the surface. Like, I'm still so mad. <laughs> Please. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it also shoots... We're going to loop back around to Pokemon and not waifus. Uh, if, I feel like it's really shot them in the foot for future stuff, too, because if... There's Pokemon that people like that don't make it into uh, the Galar decks. Like, they can't sell, like, merch of that. I mean, they can, yeah. but it won't work as well. Well, one of the things that was pointed out about X and Y is that uh, X and Y was, was kind of the beginning of the end for Game Freak. One of the biggest issues with X and Y that Nintendo had, and one of the reasons why Nintendo basically told them not to bother with Z was that uh, X and Y, the quality was really low, but the number of marketable Pokemon was incredibly low too. Think of X and Y and think of every marketable Pokemon you can, and then think of any other generation and think of marketable Pokemon, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, like, that's, that's why... Um, Gen 6 had, like, the starters, and of them, really just Greninja for the yeah. evolved. Um, and then you had Inke, Pumpkaboo, um... Um, their evolved forms, but yeah. really just just Gorgeist. So uh, the the main issue with that is know. that that's that's where the whole Greninja thing comes from, where it was that Greninja just kept getting attention. It came from the idea that there's one marketable Pokemon in X and Y, and even third gen, to its credit, has quite a few marketable third Pokemon. Third gen, like its bad designs are not super great but still not super bad but there's just kind of a high volume of them but good third gen, gen designs are great we got mudkip we got flygon we got yeah. oh god i'd have to bring up a list That's, we got bayonet one of the reasons Sableye. that they that they show off specific pokemon now and demos and stuff that they do is because they are trying to hit the ones that will be more marketable somebody thought impy dimp was going to be real marketable i can guarantee it yeah, that Corgi is... Corgi is like, Corgi's marketable. Like, even if the games piss us off, if they make a plush of the Corgi, I'd consider it. Like, I, I is, like Shroomish, too, by the way. He might not get in for Galar. Shroomish is kind of a, a, an ugly cute that I appreciate, and Breloom is just a pro. I love Breloom. Uh, Wooloo is very 50-50 right now. Don't be very careful. <laughs> I'm confused Some people about very Wooloo. much don't like Wooloo. <laughs> I'm confused about Wooloo, not because it's like just a sheep, but that people love it so much when it's just a sheep. It's like, d you just needed to be reminded that sheep exist because it's cute, but there's nothing going on with it. It's like some people forgot that sheep are a thing and they saw a cartoon sheep and now they're just crazy for sheep. Uh, Cypher says he hates the sheep. Uh, the sheep is, I, I think I know his argument because I've heard it so much over the last few days. It's just a sheep. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to wait to see its evolution before I truly judge it, because... it doesn't evolve? Come on, look at it. <laughs> yeah. But, like, Bidoof looks like... It's distinct, and I like it for what it is, but it kind of just looks like it's a, it's a fucking rat. It's just a little muskrat or whatever the hell it is. And then... And then Bibarel has a water typing, and that makes it more interesting. Oh dear, oh dear. Help me, please. I'm willing to wait to see what Wooloo develops. Uh oh, what? Excuse me? And yes, Mareep is way better. It has actual things going on it that make it look like a Pokemon. You can kind of tell what its typing is. You can tell it's not a real world animal. It's got weird stuff going on that uh, are just there to be there, the, like the cone ears. The difference is that Mareep is an electric type, and Wooloo is probably a normal type. <laughs> 
Uh, did we comment on Yokai Watch? I, it's it's on the list of things I want to get into and just haven't yet. I like the designs. I don't like the gameplay for early Yokai Watch. I haven't that's, that's played it. That's my only it. issue. There was a demo. Josh played it and then deleted it, and I was like, wait, I didn't get to play it. It's like, oh, oops. So I just never. Radita is just a rat, it but it's it's, it's got purple. a unique design to some extent. Radita's purple. Wulu really does just kind of look like a sheep. That being said, I don't hate Wulu. I actually like it well enough. Raticate is kind of just a rat, but at the very least, it looks pissed off all the time. That's fun. <laughs> True has purple rats in his house. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that man next to me, he's such a coward. Okay. See ya. Where am Bye, I? Bye, coward. I got lost. Yeah, your ghost vanished. Yeah, that's fine. That happens. <laughs> Yokai Watch 1 has a mechanic where you can photograph anything and get a prize for it. I photographed a picture of Donnie Osmond and got an item that leveled a yokai up to level 50 instantly. Weird. Good. Donnie Osmond, yokai confirmed, I guess. <laughs> Having, like, a photography <laughs> element actually kind of makes me want to play it. Uh, some of the later Yokai Watch games, by the way, look really good, and it's really, really silly that Game Freak considers Yokai Watch to be one of their biggest competitors currently. Um, and it really is just like the the games look so much better, and and it's it really comes down to the franchise and how many people really enjoy just the the games themselves or the franchises themselves. People keep uh, trying to bring up Pokemon <clears throat> that are just an animal as like contrast. Like Galvantula a... is not just a spider. You can tell oh, it's got me. a ton has a going lot on. Of things. Look, there's a di there's a, a fucking thing for a Pokeball. Oh, that is kind of neat. Yeah. I like it. Uh, if you were to be down there at ground level in the, the character's perspective, those lines are super thick. I don't know why they needed to be Yeah, I don't know either. Easily it's read it's also a, a really simplistic uh, schematic. I'm not sure why they bothered to even write it out like that. <laughs> my Pokemon are my loyal servants. Butterfree is not just a butterfly. It's a cartoonish butterfly, and bug is a type, so it kind of tells you what it does just by being a bug, which mm -hmm. is kind of weird. But, it's also know. got little fangs and, and yeah. a bunch of other things. Uh, feet. Butterf Butterfree literally has hum like not human feet, but he's got feet feet. Yeah. Uh, also, Butterfree looks like it's supposed to evolve out of Venonat. I think we've talked about yeah, that before. Yeah, that's a thing. I think... Like, I, I do this rant every so often. I think that the easiest way to sum up what I think makes good Pokemon, and Pokemon don't have to be perfect to still be fun, mm -hmm. Bulbasaur is the platonic ideal of what a Pokemon design should be like. It's kind of an animal. You can't necessarily tell exactly what animal it is. It's maybe a mix of things. It takes different biology and kind of smooths them together really nice. You can tell what it does from looking at it because the bulb is really obvious, and it's incorporated into the design really well. And it is cute. You would want to put it in your house. You would want to go on adventures with it. It emotes. You you can form an emotional connection with it. Well, the the concept for here's the the issue with this kind of like general way of thinking about stuff like this. Uh, the design aesthetic for Pokemon changes every single generation intentionally. Like by design, Game Freak sits down and they they come up with themes that they don't reveal until much later on. Uh, for how the Pokemon are supposed to look, uh, themed around other things. So, like, first generation is just design monsters. Second generation, I think, was colors. Like, like make things more colorful. Uh, and then third generation was... I completely fucking forget. I, I actually can't remember what third gen's design aesthetic Everything was. Everything got lines all over it. Uh, Which I continued remember, onwards, but third gen had a lot of lines. I think fifth was think about what things would eat. Uh, fourth may have been silhouettes. Mm. I, I don't remember. Like, there's all of the... It, like, like you can find these around sometimes, though, because in interviews, sometimes uh, Masada or Sugimori will talk about it. And it's just like, like eventually they get to... Uh, I think sixth or seventh was like, think about how the Pokemon would live realistically. And it's just like, oh god. <laughs> like, uh, Ninetales Commander is asking if we all agree Voltorb and Electrode are lazy. They're mimics. I kind of give them a pass I, because they're they're supposed to look like the items on the overworld. 
Yeah, the problem is that once you get to 3D, it stops being a thing. Yeah. In the original games, it made sense, but not not. Yeah, really and long. even then, as time that goes gimmick, on, it gets worse. That gimmick gets redone with Fungus and Amoongus, and they do it better. That's like one of the few things in fifth gen where the replacement Pokemon kind of just redid the the concept in a way that was nice. Uh, I agree. Somebody said, I feel the pursuit of marketable designs may have hampered the monster uh, ex aspect. The aspect, thank you, of pocket monsters. Uh, to an extent, I would agree. I would also agree that anything can be marketable. Uh, you could make real monsters. You could get really good pocket yeah, monsters hey, and still have them be marketable. Idea. Didn't a Godzilla movie just come out and they've got yes. like merch in stores right yes. now? And people love Godzilla, right? Like people yes. buy Godzilla toys. Some of your, your closest childhood artifacts are Godzilla toys, right? Yes. How many first-gen Pokemon were basically Godzillas? You got your Rhydons. Lots of them. <laughs> your Nidokings. You got Tyranitar. Like, like most generations do have at least one thing that's just a kaiju. kaiju. Yes. And yet they don't consider those really marketable. They keep trying to give us Pika clones and little Moe Blob Orb Squishes, which I like, yeah. but they, they are assuming that people won't buy stuff when they totally will. Like the, just I don't more know. Monsters. Yeah, the, the concept of the marketability problem is that uh, people who people who tend to look at things as marketable or unmarketable look at them with a non-discerning eye. They they have a concept of what they think is marketable, despite the fact that if we were to break that down by definition, the market is always changing for things like that. You can't say something is marketable or unmarketable without comparing it to the market around it. Um, but also there is a human aspect and, and I don't mean sitting down and, and looking at, you know, having people sit and look at it and tell me what's good. It's, it's more, uh, an issue of like, you should have artists sit down and tell you what is aesthetically pleasing or not as well. There's, there's a big thing with that. And a lot of people just kind of accept marketable to mean just blobs at the end of the day. And I don't like that. Uh, we're being asked if Pichu is a Pika clone for Gen 2. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's that is that is the directly Pika clone related for Gen 2. to Pikachu, so I feel like saying it's a Pika clone is a little bit confusing. But yeah, pretty much. Like how three had mine and Plusle, four had um, what was four? Uh, Pachirisu. Pachirisu, that's right. I really wish that they had given that one like a better name uh, for English. Five, like it's just yeah. the Japanese name, but it's a little long for being yeah. something like you can't market it as well when kids can't pronounce uh, five it. Five had Emolga, six had uh. Something I don't remember off the top of my head. Six, and then, yeah, uh, Dedenne. That's what it was. Yeah. And then seven had uh, Togedemaru. and Mimikyu, who is and Mimikyu. the golden child, the star of everyone's heart. I love Mimikyu. <laughs> uh, I see. I like the concept of Pika clones so long as they kind of just fill a new niche. Like Amolga is a yeah. squirrel, it was and Patrice is a squirrel, and a squirrel. A squirrel. Plessel's a squirrel. Mine is not. <laughs> uh, Dedenne is a hamster, which is interesting. Dedenne looks too much like Raichu. I feel like they could have made some better color choices, but when you see it in motion and hear the way it sounds in the anime, it's like, okay, I can't hate you. You're too cute. Uh, Togedemaru is a, a hedgehog, which is really nice. And they, they took that in some weird directions. I don't like that the, the localization for the anime decided that Togedemaru literally, like, clinging to Pikachu constantly makes them, like, brother and sister. No, that, thing, that thing's thirsty <laughs> as hell. Yeah, I think that um, maybe some of the localization teams might need to think through some choices here and there. I mean, to be fair, there. I don't think that Pokemon need to be thirsty for Pikachu, because first of uh, all, it's Buneary never going to work. is constantly, too. It's never going to happen. Pikachu is not uh, going to kiss you. No, probably not. And second, like, it's not like they're ever going to do breeding. <laughs> no, no, they they kind of touch breeding, but never it. never openly. You know, they're not going to get into the Just mechanics. Just because it's such a big part of Pokemon. And if they it's do, not in this game, by the way. If they do, and it's I'm, not going to happen with really Pikachu. upset that breeding was not in this game. For those of you who don't know how I play Pokemon, it's like 80% breeding, 20% uh, meta battle. <laughs> I feel like if they were going to do like Pokemon, just like having like their own little ship bait stuff where it's just like these Pokemon like each other a lot, it's like leave Pikachu out of it because you know it's not going to last. Just introduce two <laughs> new Pokemon that Ash and his girl companion can have. Shh, can't you see? I'm hiding. Why are there so many cowards in this building? Because it's under siege by the Mafia. But <laughs> children are fucking intruders spotted. Children 
with Pokemon, some of these guys probably just don't have any or had them confiscated early on. Minin is pretty cute. I think Plusle and Minin are about the same. They're fine. I feel like they're like they're very transparent and that they're just Pikachus <laughs> for double battles. I feel like they could have done something a little less obviously Pikachu. Yeah. Like they, they're still good for what they are. I think the, the taking the Pika clone concept out of rodents, if that's what the new um, the new Corgi is going to be, is a good idea. I I, I don't think he's a Pikachu clone. He's like, the closest we have to it right now. He has like a lightning a, bolt tail. I'm expecting him to be. Oh, the I thought Pikachu he was clone. like I thought he was supposed to be fruit. I thought he was a melon. What? Am I the wrong? The Corgi? Yeah. No, it's an electric type and it has a lightning bolt tail. Oh. It's got green accenting in like its ears, which I like. I it was supposed to be a melon. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. All right. I mean, that, that's fine, I guess. I'd be <laughs> fine with that too. Oh yeah. Somebody pointed out there is actually a giant, uh, potentially electric squirrel with like, there. Okay. It doesn't need to be another it, squirrel. It wasn't in the demo. It was in the demo, but it wasn't in the demo. It, it was wasn't. Code? You couldn't use it, but people caught pictures of it in the backgrounds of uh, uh, crowds oh, and those. somebody is walking around with a picture of one on their shirt and it's a big gigantic squirrel like a big fat like like child size squirrel and I think uh, some of the depictions of it have electricity on like the tail or something like that okay. like it's being suggested it could be a chipmunk hungry. maybe yeah. I'd, I'd go with a chipmunk because Chespin's probably not going to get into Galar uh, the starters from other generations are probably low priority to get into Galar unless it's like really marketable. Well, we know Charizard. Charmander. We know Charmander is yeah. in because Charizard is being used by uh, the the guy who's probably going to be the champion. By the way, yeah, that, the, the no, king that is the man. Champion. Yeah, like they said it. He's the champion. <clears throat> yeah. Well, the king man, by the way, is also wearing Henry the Eighth pants, and I don't know why, and it bothers me. I don't me. know England. Josh Henry, is unboxing Henry some gummy the worms. Henry is not the best king that you could, like, no, have anybody base things on. I know. Anyways, like, Ch Charizard being used here, though, doesn't guarantee that we'll get Blastoise and Venusaur. And I somehow doubt we're going to get, like, Mudkips or Tricos or... Uh, anything. I'm losing my mind. You're the I, one. Uh, okay. Battling. I'm trying to think of other starter names and my head's just thinking, what's that plant called? Bayonetta. That's what that call. <laughs> no, not... Tropius. Breloom? No. Bayleaf. That's the one. Bayleaf Onetta. Breloom is fucking amazing. Though. But we're probably not getting chest spin, so a chipmunk Pika clone would be a good idea. Breloom is legitimately one of my favorite Pokemon from third gen. Breloom is adorable and lovely. Mm -hmm. Charizard <clears throat> does get too much preference. I, I, I have a theory that I'm not serious about, but whenever someone tells me their favorite Pokemon is Charizard, I put them to a test just to, just to give them a hard time. Uh, just, I just assume that anyone who's really into Charizard uh, is attracted to Charizard. And you can deny it. I'm not going to assume forever. You can just say no and I'll believe you. But it's like, I'm just going to tell anyone who likes Charizard that I think they're a furry. Uh, okay, really quickly. Uh, there's a handful of people asking things. So I have something to admit. When I got Mimikyu's model, I went inside and hoped so that I would find something. You're cursed. You're cursed forever. Good, good job. Henry VIII wore pants. Uh, sort of. He wore tights, like really, really tight tights, tights. Yeah, he wore and shorts pieces. and then tights. He was that guy. Uh, we we've had this conversation you and I before, Cypher, where he had really shapely legs and he tried to show them off constantly. Uh, they need to lighten up on Charizard. Yes, they do. Uh, gummy worms. Yes, Ice Flame. I'd throw them at you if I could. I'm sorry. Mm mm mm. Uh, if, oh god, I just got done watching the Monster Hunter World episode where you ask a question. If a kid walked into your house while wearing a costume and was asking for candy, would you give them some? Uh, I mean, probably. <laughs> I accidentally wiggled the controller. I just unboxed a sugar cookie. <laughs> uh, can I have a bite of that, by the way? The, um... Yeah. Um... The gummy worms made me uh, really spitty for a second. I don't know why. We're being asked if I do the same thing for Lucario. I don't think I've ever met anyone whose favorite Pokemon was Lucario. But yes, I would. I may have met one person. 
And I would probably do the same thing, yeah. <laughs> Lucario definitely is like... I don't know if it's my least favorite fourth gen Pokemon, and even then, that. fourth okay. is my favorite gen, so I don't he's know if that pants. means as much. Yeah, he's got shorts. They're comfy yeah. to wear. Famously, Lucario is like the pants Pokemon for whatever reason. Lucario's a mess. I get what they're going for, but I don't think they succeeded. Uh, I can only find one low-res photo of the Pokemon Center NYC figure wall, but it was big cool. The Pokemon Center NYC was really cool. I really like the concept, and I'm still ultimate sad that it just got turned into the, uh... Was it the Nintendo Store or Nintendo Center now or something like that? I don't even remember. Japan still has Pokemon Centers, though. I think there's a few Pokemon Center vending machines in Ooh, major malls yeah. in America. Like, Seattle has those, I think. But that doesn't do much good for anyone else. They're huge, and they have a wall of stuff that you can cycle through that's just plushes and plushes and toys and all this other stuff. And you punch the number in and then swipe a card, and then it falls out of it like a normal vending machine. It is, like, the coolest idea. Okay, wait. Uh, we've we been here before. I'm just going up floors now that we have the key card, because we could just, mm -hmm. like, literally empty out every single floor. I'm just following you. I'm not paying attention to the layout. So the only picture somebody can find online. Uh, I think Nintendo just opened a new Pokemon Center in Harajuku. Uh, probably. Uh, I know that it's stupid of me to make the association between Harajuku and Gwen Stefani, but my brain is stuck in 2005, so now I'm just imagining Love Angel Music Baby Pokemon. Oh god. No one's gonna know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, Rocket Man. Uh-oh, I found a little troublemaker. What a douche. To this day, somehow Gwen Stefani merchandise still makes it into toy stores. I have, like, Harajuku fashion dolls from Toys R Us before it died that are just Gwen Stefani's, like, girl squad in doll form. And it's like, I don't even know if she hangs out with those girls anymore. Ooh, that's a good wall of figures, by the way. That is huge. <laughs> uh, Cypher says, I remember I chose Wooper as a kid during that trip. Whoopers That's a, a good, good choice. Whoopers, Whoopers a good choice, Whoopers hella actually, good. Yeah. Whoopers my boy. Because I liked him in the Pokemon Channel game. We haven't done that, but I should point out that we do... We, we acquired we Pokemon Channel at some point. <laughs> uh, it was originally planned to be like a sequel to the Hey You Pikachu thing, but we've got so many Let's Plays at this point that we're still bouncing around, and... And uh, updates to the channel are coming out really infrequently lately, and, and we'll have a video uh, probably either today or tomorrow that's explaining parts of that, I think. Um, but, but it's just everything everywhere. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah, Pokemon Channel, I think, is a game where you do nothing, I'm almost positive. It's supposed to be the sequel to Hey You Pikachu, though, which is weird. For those who haven't... Um... I highly recommend... Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, it's your turn. I highly recommend um, looking at our Hey You Pikachu LP on <clears> our, <throat> our channel. It's YouTube Hundera. Uh, it is my favorite of anything we've ever done. Is it because I get actively angry? Like, it's, for it's real? It's not just that. It's not just that. So, it turns out that an issue a lot of microphones have that was especially egregious in the, the microphone for um, Hey You Pikachu is that it recognizes higher pitched voices much more clearly than lower voices. So Pikachu would do nothing that Josh commanded, but would listen to me about as well as Hey You Pikachu ever listens to anyone. Yeah. It wasn't accurate, but it was a hell of a lot more functional than when Josh was trying to play. So there's just a full game LP of Josh being incredibly mad at Pikachu, <laughs> who does not listen, and then I ask Pikachu nicely to do things, and Pikachu responds, or at least, like, acknowledges I said something. And I'll be like, oh, Pikachu's a good boy. You just need to stop being so mad at him. This is a better game than Dark Souls. You need to get good. Yeah. And he just gets so mad. We were doing a Dark Souls LP at the same time, and I couldn't stand it. I was mad in that game. Uh, yes, Pokemon Box is something that was supposed to be third gen's, uh, 
uh, Pokebank. It it connected to the GameCube. It was just a GameCube game. Really. Yeah, it, it was it was just a GameCube game. But you'd load it up, you'd connect the uh, the GBA to the GameCube, uh, and then you you turn it on, and it's just storage for for Pokemon. <laughs> you mistook me for a self worker. Oh, okay. Nine Tails Commander is letting us know that people are calling the the National Dex issue Dexit. Oh, it's like good it is. Lord. It's the the England Pokemon region, and they're not letting people in. It's Brexit. A little bit. <laughs> it's just funny. Uh, let's see. Box was cool. Um, I think there were ways to use it to get rare Pokemon. Um, I think it was like you put so many Pokemon in and it gives you a special thing. Or something I also like remember, and I don't have this anymore, and I'm really disappointed that I don't have it anymore, because somebody stole it from me. Oh. Um, I used to have the, the disc that they gave you for, um, uh, pre-ordering Pokemon... I want to say it was... It was either Pokemon Coliseum or Pokemon XD uh, Gale of Darkness. Uh, but they would give you this this little GameCube disc that you could load up, and it had the trailer for the Jirachi movie on it, and um, the fix for the berries for third Oh man, berry glitch. Yeah, the, the berry glitch fix. That's some deep lore. Uh, and you could use it to download infinite Jirachis. <laughs> the, you could just oh, get man. Jirachis yeah, yeah. off I remember of it. now, I... I was part of a forum that had like a Pokemon thread and I didn't participate in this, but there was a single copy of that disc that people would just mail to each other physically mm -hmm. so that everyone could fix their berry glitch and get a Jirachi. There, there's such a strong community behind Pokemon, even when it's a train wreck, because sometimes it is like just the fact that there's just millions of us all over the world who who collaborate and fight and scream and make friendships over this this game is just amazing. We're just sitting here having strong opinions about anime dogs that that throw fire at each other. Uh, reminder, by the way, to people who maybe forgot, uh, ground type attacks were come Magnemite and Magneton. Yeah, they don't have people, levitate. People consistently forget. I think they're actually four times effective because they don't levitate. <laughs> they actively just sit on the ground. Which Sorry, never ahead. used to be a problem because, like, before uh, abilities were even a thing, you could hit stuff with with, like floating things as long as they weren't flying type because it's like just assume that when you use dig you're making your your pokemon or your rock shrapnel or whatever just launch really high yeah it's not that, that weird you can make it work just imagine it <laughs> i'm being asked if i know about an old lady hacker in the new watch oh, yeah. um, i don't know what watch dogs we, is we didn't watch that trailer together i saw it i thought it was funny but um megan had no interest in i, I don't care about watching a anything that E3. wasn't the nintendo e3 yeah it's it's not it's not that big yeah because i watched pretty much the whole of e3 i, I missed the pc conference but it looked like trash What's and i found it like having it combos trash. If you were talking about the noise, that was just Josh getting his gummy worms. Oh yeah, that, that was me putting my uh, my gummy worms away. I just, <laughs> I, I can't eat them on stream. It's not going to work. They're too too uh, sour to be doing that with. Do you need some of my iced tea? No, I'm fine. To rinse your mouth out? I'm good. Okay. I already finished up a second Red Bull. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's another coward in here. Look at that. It'll be bad sister? if Team Rocket gets complete control of Sylph and our Pokemon. Yeah, sure will. Are uh, you not going to oh, do something about it? What happened to me? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm one of the four Rocket sisters. <laughs> I'm one of the four Rocket sisters. <laughs> I am one of the four Rocket sisters. <laughs> I'm the one who likes... Uh, 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 long walks on the beach. I'm the one. <laughs> I am the one with reversed feet. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking of weird things. <clears throat> uh, WordPress sucks. I I'm going to eventually switch from Tumblr to WordPress when I get a chance, and I'm scared. Aww. I'm I am i am not going to ever like delete my tumblers for Popkas or Laserwing or anything like that, but like 
it might just not be viable to continue using Tumblr as, a, as my primary platform, and I might want to just get my own hosting, and I'm probably going to end up with web, like, like uh, WordPress and using Common Press. It's like, hmm, I'm going to have to learn a whole new set of problems. Uh, somebody said, I have to laugh at the people who are saying we're hypocritical for Bring Back National decks because we have not opened our Pokedexes. What? I have a living Pokedex. <laughs> I have a living Pokedex. He has don't, literally one of everything up to tell me. Omega Ruby. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me. Well, no, I have it for uh, Sun and Moon, too. But don't okay. tell me I, I haven't opened my Pokedex. Because my Pokedex is, like, fucking 20 boxes inside. Where am I? Why You're did dead. I disappear? Uh, you disappeared before the Yeah, but I fight. didn't. It oh, was I don't weird. know. It, it may have just lost tracking or something. Maybe. Shouldn't be the bad thing. This thing looks like it's fine. Uh, somebody said they're both impressed uh, and terrified of the living decks. Yeah. It's, it's not that uh, weird. A lot of people have them because they've had like a decade to do it. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that my living decks was missing at the end of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was Manaphy. That's the only Pokemon I'm actively missing. Which uh, I think I have put up. Yeah, you do. Uh, we just, so we just I, didn't switch you know, to my stuff. If I really yeah. wanted to, we could get you that. Yeah, you energy. could just hand it to me. That's fine. Um, but the the other thing that I'm missing now that, that we've gotten to the end of 7th of Gen is I don't have all of the Ultra Here Beasts. I am. And the reason I don't have all the Ultra Beasts is because Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun, and I fucking hate that. The fact that they added Pokemon Bye, halfway Death. through a generation really bothers me. I, it, I still find it so absolutely annoying. Bye, da, a deft back. Da, da, da. Next time, we haven't caught a single Pokemon this uh, whole thing I so know. far. Next time we find something that's a reptile, it's going to be named Deftback. Okie dokie. I just, I'm, I'm still so angry. <laughs> I've even said my piece. I'm even just like sitting here stewing in anger, and it's like I, I'm I've already I'm just thinking of things it. to do instead. Part of what I like about uh, my blog Popka is where I've drawn like every Sorry, Pokemon, sis, and I then lost. moved on and did a bunch of Digimon, did like the Quartz Popkas, I did the Uranium ones. It's like what yeah. I like is trying to, to like discover new sets of catchable monsters and like exploring them. Some of them. If they're sprite only in the case of like quartz and some of the uraniums, like I'm drawing something maybe the first time anyone other than the original artist has drawn the thing. I'm doing Puzzle and Dragon now. Some of the Puzzle and Dragon stuff is like, you're oh, not going crap. to have. I didn't mean to step on oops, that. <laughs> you're not going to have like a, a strong, healthy community of fan artists doing fan art of like the throwaway ogres and goblins. So no, like I've done really. that. So it's like there's something out there. It's like just. Like, I try to look forward in forms of, like, well, we're... Fans of Pokemon are, to an extent, just fans of monsters. And it's just, like, we, we don't have to stick to just one thing, and we can expand, and we can look at Fakemon, and we can look at Digimon, and it's, like, all this other stuff. is like, like, we're still gonna find something. Uh, Garrick says he has Ultra Moon, and they literally give you an Ultra Beast to keep, and one to trade for every single one. Huh. Well, for everyone so they that's just want you to get anyway. the game so that you got your completionism, yeah. which yeah, doesn't yeah, yeah. matter. Do we know if Ultra Beasts are going to have any presence at all? Uh, no. Probably yeah, not. We, I like, it's like, maybe they will and it'll There's be a like a plot here. thing and they don't want to go into the plot yet. The president is still in the boardroom on the 11th floor. I'm so worried. I hope he's safe, but I can't bring myself to leave this corner. And all this pee running down my legs is just because I'm so worried about the president. You, just, you usually get mad at me if I start getting gross. Oh, hi. You're not a rocket. You came to save us. Why, thank you. I want you to have this Pokemon Yay, for Lapras. saving us. Nice. We caught a Lapras. <laughs> uh, have you gone through the Sirius Altair Vega mods? Never heard of that. I don't know what that is either. There's a lot of things I need to look into. Lately. It's a Lapras. It's a very intelligent Pokemon. We kept it in our lab, but it'll be much better off with you. Why did you have a Lapras? I think you'll be a good trainer for Lapras. He, it loves to swim, so take good care of it, okay? Notice, by the way, in Kanto and, and uh, well, just Kanto, really, you don't have Lapras in the wild, which means they had to have gone out and caught this exotic Pokemon like to take it back to their lab. And it's just like, 
wow, that's, uh, woof. Why? Why were you experimenting on this poor, incredibly endangered animal? Maybe they wanted to clone it. Lapras, the transport Pokemon. A gentle soul that can understand human speech. All of them do. Yeah. Whatever. It can ferry people across the sea on its back. Uh, it's got a nice plesiosaur-style body, but the neck is wrong. Uh, I have heard people point out that they think Lapras is probably supposed to be a sea turtle. I agree. A little bit. It's a little sea turtle-y. It's got aspects of multiple things combined yeah. in a way that's very smooth, and then has like fantastical this. elements, like the, the spiral ears. Nothing in real life has those, but uh, they look very cool. Don't look too closely at the, ha the, the head or the face, or you will slowly realize yeah, it's like that it's a Nido Queen. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff like that, but I like when you see things like that where there's shared design features because it just makes the whole world feel more cohesive. Like, yeah, a Lapras and a Nido Queen wouldn't have a lot of evolutionary ancestors, <laughs> but like. It, you, you could believe that these things evolved on the same planet and have some very similar things. It's kind of like how there's mammals that have nothing to do with each other, but all have, you know, like, no more than five fingers. That's cursed knowledge, says Chad. What? It is, though, that, that it's literally just from the neck. If you take the neck down off and you just take the head, that's a Nitto Queen. That's literally just a Nitto Queen. Oh, we have a question. Uh, Ninetales Commander is going to head out, uh, but wants to ask one more question. Uh, what do you think is better, a delayed game or post-launch content? Just delay the game. I feel like a delayed game is fine, but as Cerebi has, has pointed out himself uh, on this matter, um, they do not delay Pokemon. That's, there's too many uh, uh, red-hot irons in that fire. Uh, too many companies have a stake in Pokemon for anybody to delay it. Uh, Nintendo probably wouldn't care, but the fact that, that TPCI is involved uh, means that the anime is already in production. Uh, it already has a time that it's coming out. Um, the card game is in production. They have merchandise that's going out. Uh, everything is, is currently moving. Oh, we've got a... That and Lapras. The game has to come out before we keep girls. the the you know everything else comes out. She's two inches taller, but she's also uh, almost a hundred pounds heavier. Yeah, she's like <laughs> seventy pounds fat. That's fine. <clears throat> Basically, some kind of weird whale. Yeah, You're allowed to be as big as you want. I wanted to just see some of the mo uh, motions off of this Lapras, so. I'm trying to imagine Ugh. how the fat would distribute on a Lapras. I don't and it's know. Like, they uh, they kind of are modeled so that they look like they're sitting uh, on the beach. So it's like, I guess it would be in the stomach, like but the, then like, like it the way that a seal this. would, which just kind of like spreads yeah, like the body just be out and they just get flat. Which is adorable, but I don't know how the, the shell yeah. factors into that. Lapras has been added to your party. I'll figure it out. Every time we get a fat Pokemon, I wind up drawing it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so so there's a handful of things here. Um, there's a chance they'll pull a Mario Maker 2 and update it post-launch. I hope so, but uh, 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 Masada, the, the guy in charge of the Pokemon company, has already said that the chance of them actually updating it afterwards is uh, potentially zero. They have no intent of doing that. That is not something that they want to do. They're trying to make a hard line. They're trying to put their foot down, etc., etc., uh, and also, uh, uh, updating a game in that way is something that Pokemon has never done before. It's never updated post-launch in, in that way. Team Rocket must be after the Master Ball, a Pokeball that's guaranteed to catch any Pokemon. I bet they're going to make a, <laughs> make us make lots of Master Balls for them to use. Um, also, Mario Maker 2 doesn't have the franchising that Pokemon does, and it, the company doesn't have to put its foot down quite as well. Uh, and speaking of delays, did you hear Doug Bowser saying that they delayed Animal Crossing uh, to avoid overworking the dev team with crunch? Yes, and that's actually fine. Yes, treat them like yeah, people. Tre They'll treating give you your employees games. like people is a good idea. <laughs> uh, you know what we haven't done? Yeah. Can we pet Busters real quick? Sure. It just hasn't happened yet. Yeah, that's fine. We'll pet Busters. Uh, let's see if I remember how to. <laughs> I didn't directly okay. like, pester like, the oh, real life. Oh, are you the one moving it or me? No, it's oh, you. Okay, it's me. I didn't bother pestering the, the real life busters about this because I figure he's probably at work right now. I, so, I can never like, remember. I didn't try to drag him in. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, uh, let me just hit B. Okay, 
now I need to do this. Okay, there we go. So we pet his head. <laughs> I just I was like holding to remind the everyone that screwy, he's, so it was all over the fucking place. He's got a place. brain worm and science goggles, yep. and that's great. I like the science goggles yeah. on our Eevee. And good to meet you too, Ninetales Commander. Have a good night. Yeah, have a wonderful one. It's like afternoon for us, so yeah. we're wide awake mostly. Yeah, we're mostly. It's like 5.30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I figure it's good to pet him once a stream. <laughs> yeah. Just as a I reminder like petting that, Eevees in this game. It's yeah, adorable. Like, like, we chose to get Eevee instead of Pikachu, because, like, uh, Pikachu's kind of a, like, a yeah. played-out Pokemon in general, so it's like, oh, well, Eevee's got, like, a different aesthetic to it, it's more interesting. And then, like, I wound up just keeping a very small Pikachu just on our party, but it's like, no, no, uh, Eevee's our boy. In your opinion, is Lapras a lizard? Uh, I don't, I don't really think of it as reptilian. Okay. I think of it as more having, like, a whale skin. I assume it's smooth it's skin. It's a shell yeah. whale somehow. Yeah. Like, it's, it's clearly not any particular thing, but I don't think of it as a direct plesiosaur. I know, by the way. Ice Flame said that if, if you pet it in handheld, you can give them different hairstyles. I know, we've never played this game in handheld. Yeah, you we, can't we stream it in handheld. Yeah, because the, the capture card is hooked up to the, the dock. Yeah, and the worm is the one in control, yes. <laughs> yeah, that, it's Pokemon Let's Go Diglett. You know, back when we were kind of optimistic about, like, 8th gen and we were thinking like oh well there's going to be a separate game for the new generation so maybe like let's go is going to be its own separate thing i had been thinking oh what if they do like pokemon let's go for like second gen and it's like i think my my choices were snubble and meryl it's like mm -hmm. I, I still kind of like that especially as like a containment center for casual play in pokemon go and like con connectivity yeah and it's like i don't know like now that we know about how sword and shield's gonna go do you think they're still going to continue making let's goes or I, is this a failure i have no idea to be honest because I, I i i don't know i really just don't know Togepi would be the third game, but not really, because there isn't a third uh, Also, said, Garrick said, wait, that's a thing in handheld, like the changing the hairstyle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you need to use the touch screen, and depending on how you swoosh when you pet, it'll, like, just give them a cow lick or something. Yeah, you can give them cow licks, and, and there's a bunch of other little cute uh, hairstyles yeah. you can give them. Uh, uh, there we go. What's up? Buster's is the Pokemon, and the Diglett, we don't know his name, he hasn't told us, but <laughs> Buster's is a hollow ghost on the inside. You well, want to read this? Shh, I'm a beautiful spy who's disguised as a nurse. It's Looker! <laughs> oh, man. Really? You think? No. Because I'm cool with that. Show us. Oh, are you tired? You should have a rest here in the nap room. I'm not a nurse. I don't know how medicine works. Just take a nap. <laughs> yeah. Rest here in this napping room. Japanese business nap rooms are very much a Japanese thing. I, I know I just... I mean, it should be obvious, but nap rooms in a business is more what I meant. Uh, Let's Go was a one-and-done attempt to capitalize off the app. Uh, but the app has continued adding things. There, Pokemon Go is up to, like, fourth gen now. So yeah. can we get a fourth gen of this? It's like yeah. Pokemon... I, I want to pick something that's not a traditional starter, but I could just want to yeah. say Mudkip. Pokemon Let's Go Mudkip. Oop. Because that's the best option for that. Hit a thing in chat. Ugh, there we go. Pokemon Let's Go Zangoose and Saviper. Pokemon Let's Go... Uh, it would be nice Your if schools had nap rooms, by the way, James up. Mason, but you're not supposed to really sleep at school. <laughs> I mean, you could do it on your break if you want, but, like, yeah. Uh, the nap room at a school is called a library. Yeah, I used to sleep during certain classes. Uh, don't judge me. <laughs> I tried my best not to because I want to pay attention. <laughs> well, to eventually I had to start going to the doctor about it. And the doctor was like, oh, you just need to like eat more sugar early in the morning. Have oatmeal for breakfast instead of a single bagel. And I'm Josh like, okay. is a weird one when it comes to the way he eats. Like He will like eat like a whole bag of gummy worms, but then nothing else for the day. But then for a week, he'll just forget to eat. It's really uh, weird. True really wants those Generation Money remakes. <laughs> he wants Gen 4 remakes. That's that's uh, True's been screaming about it for for uh, months. Yeah, I kind of want it too. <laughs> but I want him to be 2D, so I'm not ever getting what I want. Uh, I don't know. Tease and let's go. Sabrina saying, I'll see you again in three years. I, I, we haven't gotten to Sabrina, so I don't know. Um... 
I'm going to open something, I hope. Oh, oh there God. it goes. Hey! See, you got it better than I did, but I was wearing a VR headset the last time we tried. Yeah, I'm opening Spoilers. one of those Mountain Dew <laughs> Amp, Amp Game, Game Fuels. Fuels. I wanted to know what the other flavors tasted like. So this is Original Dew. Uh, it sure is. Yes, I could use Dig because it would be better, but at the same time, uh, Dig Dig hits over a certain period of time, and it's just like I don't know. Both of them it are pretty good. It takes a while. Mountain Blue Amp Game Fuel. We're not sponsored. No, we're not sponsored. I Megan just likes this. them apparently. <laughs> I figured out, I, I, I've said it to, to other people, but it, I should say it on stream. I figured out what the flavor for it is. Because you were talking about it and you're like, oh, it's kind of powdery. And some other people were like, it's very, like, like fake cherry, like the cherry ones. And it occurred to me, it's, it's the, it's flavor is the syrup for cherry snow clones. Like, that's literally what it is. If you eat all of the, the, like, the ice out of your snow cone and you're left with, like, a bucket of just, like, cherry goo, that's what it is. It's just the cherry goo at the bottom of a snow cone. For those who didn't know, there's kind of like a small running gag with Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel where it, it has to do with Minecraft and <laughs> hostage situations. Yeah, it's fine. Plenty of hostage situations. Uh, I just wanted to drink let's go something. Let's through the store. <laughs> I wanted to drink something that wasn't soap. <laughs> Cypher goes, uh, I wish they'd sponsor me again. It was a Kool-Aid flavor. And then we said snow cone, and he goes, oh my god, you're so right. <laughs> by the way, by snow cone, you mean shave ice. Please get the terminology yeah, right. Okay. No, snow cones and shave ice are, are two different things, but no, I'm talking about snow cones. Okay, they're, we'll they're the same thing. Huh? It's just... What's going on? Snow cone is what you call it if you're a howling. At first, that kid who was annoyingly strong, and now you? Well, your kid's allowed Ooh. in here. Is, that, is he talking I, about you? <laughs> yeah, we can't. Oh, somebody asked how we feel about the uh, the the new rival, by the way. They, uh, they were very the nice. Game. They asked us about four times, and I keep forgetting. Yeah, the, the, the one the, in the... Huh. Um, I like the idea that it's like someone whose older brother is the champ, as opposed to in the past we've had like, oh, my dad is the gym Scientist leader, or my Jose. dad is the battle tower guy. It's like, okay, so it's like it's a young champion, and the relationship he'll have with, with the rival is going to be different from it being like a parent or a distant figure yeah. or a grandpa or something. It's like, I kind of like the idea that maybe they will interact, like you will just see the champion a lot because like the rival shows up and they're just going to talk about something and you'll just be there. Um, we don't know enough about them. Just, I, I like rude <laughs> rivals. I think Hop has the potential to be an interesting rival. Uh, we're going to have to see more of his personality first. Also, uh, somebody made a very good point. Shaved ice isn't in a cone. It's the same thing. <laughs> if it's, if it's it served in a, in a cone, it is something different. No, it's not really. Because shaved ice don't doesn't know. have a standard of what you put in it. I don't think if you go to someone who sells snow cones, like, it's always going to be a cone either. Sometimes you get, like, the weird little plastic bowl thing. Yeah, also, if you really do like cherry snow cones, get get the, the, the cherry The one. cherry it's, amp it's game It's spot fuel. on. That is exactly what it is. With caffeine and other stuff that's illegal in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we found out after the fact that apparently the, uh, the Mountain Dew Amp game fuel is illegal in, like, the UK. <laughs> What if Hop starts nice but gets meaner the more he loses? I like that Ooh, idea. Yeah. Um, it's weird. Uh, the, the different rivals have different characterizations based on if you're looking at the game or the show or whatever. And my favorite uh, player character dynamic was actually uh, Ruby and Sapphire in Pokemon Special. Where there was, they were kind of sh like shipped romantically, but also had a rivalry and also had like a past together and a bunch of other stuff that was really interesting and it was very sweet. Uh, but I also kind of just like the motivating power of a Gary Oak coming in and telling you you're a loser. Like, I get why they don't want to do that anymore because it's like, you know, there's some kids who will get a little upset about that if you're like, you know, you're six years old and you're playing the game for the first time and maybe you're not super good at it. It's like, it's a little discouraging, but I, I like the playful back and forth and the idea of um, just just the new guy just getting bitter as you that go on. Really it's interesting. Me. So long as in, in the end, you know, he doesn't like, 
look like a tragedy. No. <laughs> like, isn't that the sixth-gen rival just keeps getting sadder and sadder the more you beat them? Um, okay, I, I've talked about the sixth-gen rival before, but yeah, they, they have a personality shift as you continue through that. And dependent on, on how you beat them and when you beat them and etc. etc., it really does feel like the sixth gen rival who is just the um the one that you don't pick. It's it's the other option for for gender. Um it's it's this weird like they almost get depressed as you go on. And by the time you fight them at the very end, it's like they're they're like, I'm ready. This is the last time I'm gonna fight you and win. And they're like really, really ready to go. And it's like you've you've really pumped them up beating them so many times. And if they lose again, they just kind of smile and they go, I'll never win. I'm I'm done. I'm just gonna sit on this bench forever now. I just I can't beat you. Oh well. And it's like yeah. super depressing. Uh, you've also got Silver is a compelling character in his own <clears> because <throat> he has actual plot presence and that he's Giovanni's kid, and that's really cool. Um, yeah, if you somebody pointed out if you beat them at the end, they just kind of stop being a trainer. They are man. a trainer, but they are they are accepting of the fact that they cannot beat you and they will never be as good as you. So they just kind of give up. Because yeah. they're um uh, you can still fight them once a week. Is, is the thing with that one. It's one of those okay. things where it's like every, it's a scheduled fight. Sorry, oh, continue. Oh, poison. <laughs> um, the, the rivals in fourth gen, your, your opposite character and then Barry are kind of like whatever. Whoever gets to be Professor Rowan's assistant is going to be a boring person for the rest of their life. Barry is kind of like amusingly obnoxious and that's kind of fun. It's just yeah. like, it's like, hey, I'm in a rush. You owe me money. Bye. And then he walks off and it's like, <laughs> Have fun, buddy. It, Whatever. If I remember the anime correctly. I think Barry was actually an interesting character in the anime too, because he was mm -hmm. he was that kid who talks too much and runs everywhere, and they're like, please slow down, Barry. He's amusing, <laughs> he's got a lot of personality, um, but like your Dawn or Lucas, whichever you end up with, is so boring. He also kinda looked like Flapjack from the Misadventures of Flapjack, which was weird. Yeah, whatever. But Probably like, coincidence. Eh, yeah. Uh, you got uh, Bianca and Charon in 5th gen were okay. I, I don't like 5th gen in general. Their presence in it was fine. I'm neutral to them. I want to be the best there ever was To beat all the 